There we go. So, hey. Duncan, we're now friends again. I actually uh, did a nice ecstasy thing the other night, and uh, I thought about my life. And I thought, and it, ecstasy, by the way, don't tr- ever do it. I've said this before. Don't ever try it. But it is the, like one of the most amazing things in the world. But, but don't do, ever do it. Uh, uh, it really like really broke down a lot of my my life it, it it's a it's a good drug if you need to dissect everything and i was uh I, it really helped me and it really made me think like you know what uh uh what happened between me and you which was unfortunate uh it it it, it, just, it was just too much negative energy and i think the whole thing with life and everything like you want to have as much positive energy going on or life is just going to suck because you're going to have all this bullshit fucking pulling you down and making you think think bad things and stuff like that and then i i just thought of everything and and i'm, I'm glad that we we've reconnected i think i i uh I, I sent you a text probably late at night and i also sent you a picture of a butthole and then you uh <laughs> sent sent back a picture of a penis yeah and i think we were uh good to go after that mm. thank you dear well yeah man i mean yeah yeah all joking aside you know what I remember, man, is uh, fucking like years ago, uh, like I was like breaking up with a a girl I was engaged to, and man, I totally remember like coming over to your fucking house and like uh, uh, um, playing video games, and you were helping me shoot this thing. I remember how like you were very generous with me, and like you were really my you're like my friend. We did we did a cool little hobo uh, pilot. We did a lot of stuff, remember? man, and the whole fucking thing. After I got past like my ego and like you know the basic like ape uh, impulses, I, I I just felt bummed out. It was it's like it's like man, this fucking sucks that uh, that uh, you know things can take this kind of turn. You know, so I am very happy that uh, we're like uh, we've gotten uh, out of that. It was it's that really was funny fun. that also that, that I can send you a picture of a butthole and then you automatically send a picture of a penis and it's like oh everything's good now. Well, also the other reason <laughs> that that's ridiculous is because it indicates that we have at supply on our phones pictures of buttholes and yeah. dicks. <laughs> Which one's worse? Which one's worse now? We, we just have that available in our photo gallery immediately, like within seconds. I could send you a picture of a dick, and that's uh, that's that's fucking embarrassing. Hey, we can smoke in here, by the way. So I bought you a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, woohoo! Uh, These are terrible. I don't want to smoke though, man. I'm I'm really trying to get around this terrible and evil crutch. I get it, but you could light it off screen if you want to. I could switch it to me lighting. A yeah, switch to you, please. Okay. No one watch this. You, I'd rather you, people watch watch. Do you have one of those LA Speedweed lighters? By the way, that's cool that you had LA Speedweed on a, on a. He's podcast. awesome. Gino, I love that guy. Gino's the best. Gino, if it, it's cool if you live in LA and you need weed at the middle of the night. Just go to LASpeedweed.com or speedweed.com and, and uh, you can just order it like you're adding shit on Amazon. And then you used to keep on code Death Squad and you get fucking $40 worth of free edibles. Yeah, they're so amazing. I have enough marijuana to last for the next 700 years. I got some here if you need any. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I mean, that's like the, the problem with their business plan, I think, is that they, they will, uh, <laughs> they're giving away too much or something. Like, how are you going to keep people buying this stuff if you give a kilo? Away every time you bring it to someone's house. It's you, ridiculous. You were on the the home zone. Oops. You were on the home zone ye- yesterday or the day before yesterday, and it was one of the funniest shit ever. Home zones, the bone zone at at, at uh, Randy's house, and it uh, you can so if you subscribe to Bone Zone on iTunes. Don't. Don't I do wouldn't, it. Don't, I wouldn't subscribe. You do it? No. Uh, no. Oh, as a as a public service announcement to all the people who listen to the Ice House Chronicles, I will tell you this: Brendan Walsh at Brendan Walsh on Twitter, yeah. and you can tell him I said this, is a member of something that is called the Gay Mafia. Mm-hmm. And-